N I, I thought you were going to question me about Julian's disappearance. Uh, we'll do it another time. Why? I mean, you were in pain downstairs. I had no idea. No, I'm... Uh, no, I'm fine. I just... I mistimed my pain medication, that's all. <clears throat> in fact, you could help me out with that. How? You could get the pills that are in the bathroom for me. Ivy, you just took some pain pills. These are different. These are other pills. No, they, um, they're in the cabinet on the bottom. These are the ones? Yes. Thank you. It says here that you shouldn't take any more of these for six hours. Oh, no. These are so potent. I, I won't need any more. Okay, um, I'll check back with you later and then uh, we'll talk about you later. something else we should talk about. Ethan, you know, I, I'm really worried about him. I, I think his future's at stake. Why are you worried about Ethan? Because of his breakup with Teresa? Oh, no. I am thrilled that he finally dumped Teresa. I just know he must be terribly upset. Look, you are wrong about Teresa. She's not the person you're making her out to be. Sam! She is pregnant with Julian's baby. She lied to Ethan over and Julian over again. Julian took advantage of her. I don't want to argue with you about Teresa. I just want you to know that I am very happy that Ethan has the full support of his father. Look, of course he does. Anytime Ethan needs me, all he has to do is call. He knows that. Well, it's a relief to know that you're there for him. 100%. And so is Grace. Yes, Grace. Well, I know that with your support and Grace's, of course, Ethan will get through this trying time. Ethan is my son, and I'll do anything I can for him. You're such a wonderful father, Sam. Not like Julian. <sighs> Julian was pathetic. He never knew how to treat his son. He didn't know how to be there for him. I just want Ethan to know that I love him very much. <laughs> when I hear you say that, I could, I could cry. You'll be happy to know I won't. It's just Ethan, you know, Ethan means the world to me. I would kill for Ethan. I, I think if anyone really hurt him, I would kill them. Saying, Ivy. <laughs> Nothing, Sam. No, it's it's just an expression, you know. It, oh. You okay? Yeah. No. Don't don't worry about me. Look, I don't want to get into interviewing you about Julian's possible murder right now. I know you're in pain. But as a cop, I can't ignore what you just said. <laughs> Sam, for pity's sake. Now, do you know something about Julian's disappearance? Were you thinking about him when you said you'd kill for Ethan? No, Sam, I wasn't thinking of Julian when I said I would kill for Ethan. I was just trying to emphasize how much I love my son. I honestly don't know how I would have survived all of these years without him. You know, he... He's brought so much joy into my life. You know, whenever you talk about Ethan, you light up like a Christmas tree. Do I? It's the only time that you look totally open and honest, like the ivy I used to know years ago. The wheels aren't turning. There's no schemes to be plotted. Sam, I understand why you're still suspicious of me. 
You know, I went through a time when I did some terrible things to get you back. But that was then. I've changed. I know that you love Grace and you're happy with her, and I accept that. I'm glad to hear that, Ivy. I just want what's best for Ethan now. I just... I want him to have a close relationship with you. Well, that's gonna be no problem. Because I will always stay close to Ethan. I want him to feel that he is part of my family. And so does Grace. I want him to be close to you. And to Grace. <laughs> he is my son. And I want what is best for him, too. One thing, Ivy. Don't mistake my feelings for my son as a sign that I'm looking to rekindle our relationship. You actually... Grace, my family, and Ethan are the most important things in the world to me. Of course they are. I know that. It's just nice to know that I could call you once in a while to talk about Ethan. All you have to do is pick up the phone. It's just that, you know, it gets really lonely in this house. Ivy, mean, you don't have to stay here. Oh, right. And let that shrew Rebecca think she's one. Oh, no, no, no. No, my plan was to stay here and get some kind of monetary settlement from Julian. Now, Julian's gone. I don't know what's going to happen to me. I don't even know if I'm going to get out of this damn chair. I thought you were making progress. <laughs> yes, I am. I am just feeling sorry for myself. Physical therapy must be rough. I can take it. No, I know. I know I will get out of this thing someday. I know you will. I gotta get going. Um, I'll check back with you later. All right. All you have to do is call me about Ethan. Thanks, Sam. That really means a lot. Oh, it hurts, Sam. Please just hold me. Okay. Oh. 